Hey guys, Ryan Guthrie from TM Robotics here. Got a quick little demo video for you guys today. We are going to load and run a program in the simulator built into TSPC. Here we find our software, TSPC, on my desktop. I've also put a little file here that we're going to run. So let's go ahead and open up TSPC. Once that's open, we'll need to set the directory in which the file is located, in this case, the desktop. We're going to go to Options, Set Com, and we'll have our Upload and Download Directory file here. You can click on Reference to open the tree. In this case, my file is located in the desktop. You can navigate to where your files might be. Press OK. You can confirm it here, and press OK. You should now be able to open the file, File, Edit. Here's my desktop, and here is our file. Let's open that up. Now I'm running a two-screen display, so my file is just going to drag this over from the other screen. So when you open your file, you should have two windows. You have your text editor and your data editor. At this point, we are ready to set the robot type for our simulator. We'll go to Options. Set Robot Type and Controller. Now I've written this program for the THL 300 robot, so I can select that from the drop-down list. And it's using our default controller, the TSL 3000 controller, is the controller we have paired with this robot for this demo. We're going to press OK. We can now go to Tool, Program Check, this will allow us to do a syntax check on the program and then open the program in the simulator. So we're going to run the syntax check. We do a program check and our result is the compile has succeeded and there are no errors found. We can now open the simulator by pressing simulate. This will open our simulation control panel. From here we can verify our program name, ADM show, the speed we're going to run it at, currently set to 100% and the robot type that we're using, THL300. If for some reason your file is not selected, you can cl click here in the operation panel, select program, and select your file from the list here. Now to put a little visual aid to this, we can open up our 3D view, and this will open up a 3D rendering of the robot, in this case, the THL300. I happen to like this top right view here, because you can click drag and pan around on the view. So I'm going to maximize this view by clicking on this button here, which will maximize our view, and we can see our robot. In this case, we're ready to run our robot program, so we're going to press the run button here. When the program is running, you can see I have displayed in the program, we have a print statement, which prints to the teach pendant, so on the teach pendant, we can see what view we're getting here, and we can see the print statements coming up. I use this as a visual reference. Sometimes I put cycle time calculations. In this case, I put a little note to let us know what dance routine we're running for our simulation. We're currently running dance routine three, for example. Now we're on the fourth routine, which is a palletizing routine. We're gonna go through and do some palletizing. And I happen to know this is the last of our dance routines, so we should be able to loop back to the beginning, and we're back to dance one. I told you guys this would be short and sweet. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, Ryan from TM Robotics. Have a great day.